So before we dive back into the vault, I want to show you what I want to do in the vault, but not in this world. So if I go into this creative world, I basically laid out an entire farm sort of thing that works really well, uh, both above ground and below ground. So I did it in creative mode, not in the world that, you know, we know and love, but over toward here. So it's all flat, obviously. So this is what I want to replicate in the vault, is this right here. So I think having a structure like this, where there's multiple layers of uh, seeds going all the way up, either, you know, seeds or uh, carrots, potatoes, whatever I end up finding, that could make for a pretty interesting structure underground. Uh, the issue is that everything has to be properly lit, which can either happen via glowstone or torches down here. So this is kind of the layout that I have. This is polished diorite. So I'll be looking for diorite all throughout the underground and basically saving it. I mean, I could use any material I want to, but I think the polished diorite in this texture pack looks really good. So I'm gonna maintain that in the actual world. Now, the only thing I don't like is this and how this works for like an elevator system. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but considering I have bamboo and we got plenty of it and it grows very fast, Probably gonna have a lot of bamboo, so that's what it's gonna be. So in case you didn't know, the reason why this is the way it is, is because water can have uh, an effectiveness on tilled land, land, I should say, gotta pronounce my letters properly, tilled land out until this portion right here. So this block will not be watered by this, okay? It just won't reach. So eventually it'll turn into dirt, but this one will. And basically this whole area right here which is why this makes this super effective. So you technically only need to have one water source block for every, you know, I don't know how many this is. This is what, a 10 by 10 area pretty much? So like 100 blocks right here for one little bit of water. Now if I look under here, what I'm doing is I'm placing a slab on top of this. So technically there's still water underneath there. There's a half slab of water underneath there and that still works. So that way, when I come over here, when I try to walk over this area, right, I'm not changing my height and it's not messing up the way that I'm uh, farming stuff over here. So if I farm all this over here and basically make a tater tower, except underground and make it a little more polished looking, more airy, I guess, uh, that's kind of what I want to do. So with this farm design, it can go all the way stacked all the way to the ceiling if I really wanted to. And that's the idea that I have for the vault. My name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. I did a little bit of mining, uh, just finding stuff that was like around, nothing too incredibly spicy or entertaining was happening around there. Um, I didn't want to make it so I worked on stuff. Oh, I guess it's raining. Um, I wanted to work on, oh, that's where I was. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I found diamonds, by the way. Um, I was exploring <laughs> and I found diamonds. So I didn't mine them up quite yet because I wanted to do that on camera and there's only two. Great. So now I have a grand total of what? Five or something? That's fine. So I found myself, I don't know where I'm at exactly, but you know, I didn't do any strip mining. I literally just explored and just kept exploring. So I'm like somewhere around the area. I don't know. There's zombies everywhere. Um, just completely uncharted territory. So. What I need to do for the future, for me at least, is I need to make note of where exactly my home is and have those coordinates on hand pretty much all the time uh, because otherwise I'm going to just lose my place of where I'm at and that's not going to be fun. Uh, maybe it'll be fun for you to watch, but not fun for me to endure. So, yeah. Uh, I also need some more coal, I think. I may have found a good chunk of coal outside of uh, me recording but that doesn't necessarily mean that I have enough to do what I need to do. Um, the lava source block generation sort of thing is working pretty well, by the way. It's going pretty smoothly. So I believe I can change the drip effect of it by one. Is that the surface? No, that's not the surface. Um, I can change the effectiveness of it by one. So it can be a little bit lower down and hopefully that should generate a little bit faster. So I was looking on the Minecraft community vault that I have with uh, Brandino, Anthony, Eli, and uh, Lego McDuck, whose first name I don't actually know. No, I know his first name. I don't, I don't think I remember. But anyways, 
uh, that's basically the template for what I'm doing here. And I had already seen what uh, Brandino did. And those stalactites can be one block lower than where they're at right now. And hopefully that'll increase the generative effects of the lava. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, clearly these caves just keep on going and going, right? There is no shortage of caves to explore. So um, for this video, other than getting lost in caves even still, um, I want to find a good place to start that uh, farm that I basically just showed you right there. So I have a feeling it's uh, it's definitely not going to be in the main area where I was at before. It's going to be somewhere um, a little bit more open, I would say. Uh, that's a creeper right there. Don't want to deal with any of that noise. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, it'll be it'll be somewhere around there. A very nice open area that basically I can stack up to the ceiling if I wanted to. And eventually... When I am able to go to the surface, it'll work just fine because, you know, I can go to the surface and it's all good. So that's cool. Um, I don't know if this is actually the way to get up or to get to where I want to go, but I'm just going to go here anyways. Uh, no. All right, cool. So, although I just said like, oh yeah, you know, I made all this progress, I did all this stuff. Um, I stopped my recording and I have no idea where I'm at. So... <laughs> And I did not write down the dimensions, or rather the coordinates for home. So I don't want to have to look back into my own footage. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. You can get on out of here. Yes, sir. Or do that. That's fine, too. Um, I don't want to have to look back if I don't have to, you know what I mean? Meow, meow. So hopefully you've been doing all right. My days have been uh, fairly uneventful, I guess. Getting back into the rhythm of doing some more Minecraft videos and other sorts of videos. I'm excited to do so. I've had a lot of stuff going on, I guess, in just life. So, hold on, wait. So this whole area, right, is unexplored? I haven't explored this area. But you know what? It's it's the lighting, the, the mislighting of these things here. These stalactites that are making it look like it's been explored before because they look like torches. So this is a whole lot of... uh. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just a lot. I don't know if I feel like dealing with any of this right now. You know what I mean, man? You know what I mean? Like, there shouldn't be any, any sort of light source anywhere around here. But anyways, yeah, I might need to figure out where I gotta go. I don't wanna have to do that. That requires effort. Anything that requires effort automatically makes me deterred from doing it. I want life to be as simple and coasting as possible. That's why I do videos of video games I've played a thousand times before, you know? It's just, you know, rinse and repeat, same thing. Do the same, mine the same blocks, do the same, you know what I mean? Just gotta coast. No need for innovation, no need for exploration. Just keep on coasting. Just kidding, don't do that. You always gotta innovate and try something new. But I do gotta find my way back, so I don't know where that is. Well, I found another diamond, that's cool. It was just looming right there. After defeating some... Skeletons. One diamond? Why are you being so stingy, game? Dude, really? One? It's like, okay, I've done a lot of strip mining in the Community Vault playthrough, too, right? I've done that. I don't know why diamonds are so st stringy now. It's like, oh, yeah, they, they spawn more frequently the deeper you go down. Well, I'm pretty deep down. And I found nothing, so I don't know what the deal is with the diamond generation, man. Not playing out in my favor at all. Oh, there's more diamond. Right there. <laughs> well, I guess sometimes I do have to explore and look around my environment. Really, all the way around. I never would have saw that ever in my life. All right. Now, hopefully, a skeleton isn't just going to shoot me right here. I don't believe so. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. At this point, ooh. I didn't see a little little bobby right there. Okay. Well, I'm holding down shift, which is totally helpful for being up this high, you know? Oh, a skeleton right there could have got me. Yeah, that could have been bad. All right. Well, not going to do that again. Okay, so I'm in trouble. I'm way over here, and all of my stuff is here, of course. But I'm on half a heart. My pickaxe is nearly depleted. So basically, what I'm going to prepare for over here is if I do die, I want to make sure that, you know, all my stuff is taken care of. 
which I'm expecting to pretty much die at a moment's notice doing whatever. Could be from a little bit of fall damage, could be from that creeper right there. I don't know. But I did look up where my home is, and I'm like 200 blocks away in like a weird direction, so... Yeah, and there's a witch right there, so like basically... Basically, I'm super dead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just die right here. I wanna die with all my stuff, and then just find my grave at negative four, 385. All right, so I'm back here. I don't know what happened. I just, I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't find what I wanted to find, man. You know, it, it sometimes happens. So regardless, it's all right. Look at all this lava. I added a second layer, by the way. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is apparently you can put them like here, right? Apparently, this is the way to do this. Apparently. Like you do this. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. But you do... Go. Do, do it. There we go. I don't know why. Why is it not working? The hitbox is like off? Well, there we go. All right. Sure. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that should work, I guess, better. I don't really know. But yeah, now it's down by, by two. So that's cool. So I got to go reclaim my stuff real quick. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I had a, a decent chunk of iron on me. Do I have anything over here? I do not. And I basically... Oh, no, I do. Nice. All right. So I'm going to make a shield and all the typical stuff. Get my stuff and stuff the stuffity stuff stuff. Stuff a stuff Stuffity stuff stuff. So I'm doing this the very wrong way, which is just <laughs> strip mining basically to where I was at before. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to take any risks with getting lost again and whatever. And then that way I can also find some resources, hopefully on the way down to actually getting the stuff that I need to. This is a area that is relatively close to the house too, so that works too. Um, all those things, two, 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 all combined to make for a really good plan, in my opinion. Speaking of which, it is two, 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 the day that I'm recording this. It's February 22nd, 2022. So lots of twos going on around today. And as I'm mining here as well, if you have Minecraft Java version and you're able to install mods and it's a fairly simple process if you have somebody who's tech savvy enough, right? I wouldn't try to get your grandparents to, um, to try and figure it out for you. But if you have a way to install mods, I really like this ambient music mod. It basically makes it so the Minecraft music is playing all the time. And it really does add that much more, like, soothing feelings as you're mining, not just, like, into the ominous void of Minecraft, you know? Because otherwise, without the, the really powerful music, it does feel, like, kind of creepy. Minecraft feels like a, a creepy game to play, you know? You're in these mines all by yourself. There's not a lot going on besides a lot of monsters surrounding you, so trying to find a, re a little bit of peace, a little bit of whatever, is, uh... You know, really soothing. So I recommend it if you're able to install mods. It makes doing this a little bit more bearable, I guess. Obviously, you can install your own music and play, you know, through your own listening apps and whatnot. But you know, sometimes the ambient Minecraft music is pretty good. Well, I'm very close. Coolio. All right. Well, I have that uh, diorite, so I'm going to keep that on me. That's for sure. And if I'm, I'm going to mark off basically where this is. Because that'll act as my way to get on out of here. Is this over here? No, where is it? It's at negative 42. What was it again? Hold on. I got to I gotta mark this off, like, especially so. Okay. Negative 4, negative 42, 385. So it's this way. Should be straight ahead this way. I mean, I do recognize this staircase that I literally built, like, five minutes ago. So that's good, right? There's all that. Negative. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, it is. How about right inside of here? Right there? Yeah, there it is. Look at that def. Nice. Okay, so I claim it using right click. Right click with an open hand, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Right click with an open hand. Okay, cool. I'm going to swap this stuff out and get my stuff back. Come on. There we go. I already have a chest plate because I made a second one. Whoops. There we go. Anything valuable in there that I need? Maybe. I don't know. Shield I already have, but I wanted to have a second one because that was super helpful. 
that diorite I definitely don't need, right? Yeah, that stuff I don't need. I'm uh, actually maybe the bones. No, the bones are no. That's uh, rotten flesh. Okay, cool. So there's actually nothing that I need inside of there. Cool. Yeah, luckily not doing hardcore mode, so that would have been very problematic, me just dying right there. But it worked out in the sense that I can just kind of go back and everything's going to be just fine. Like it was last time, you know? And now I have a nice, easy way to get all the way back up here. So, although all these caves are kind of intertwined and there's stuff everywhere, it gets very confusing trying to find the naturally made pathways. So at least down toward here, if I want to have a secondary area with a big open thing, at least I know where to go now. So that's pretty cool. I found a little bit of coal while I was going down toward this way. So yeah, now I'm like relatively close, right? What is that? Just some greens. Cool. I'm going to grab this coal before I get on out of here, of which I'm not get actually getting out of here, right? I want to I wanna plan out where that area for the farm is going to be. That's kind of my next sort of objective, and I feel like I know where I want to put it. I just got to visualize it and bring it into fruition, all right? So I haven't actually been over toward this way, apparently, or at least... Not as much as I could have been. Is there anything inside of here? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Well, that stuff I'm going to leave for now. I'm going to head back toward the house. 